Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to my podcast, Kaz's Corner. Kaz here, and we're here with the one and only Joshua Ferris. Don't say my full name. It feels like I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, this is this is new. We're both nervous. I'm afraid I'm going to screw this up. I'm not so much nervous as in I don't know what to do with my hands. Right. Just- like Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Um, this is Kaz's Corner. It's my new podcast. It comes out the first Sunday of every month. It'll also be on my YouTube channel. I'll have all that linked somewhere. Um, go ahead, Joshua. Tell them something interesting about yourself. Let me go ahead and put you on the spot. Well, I, I can honestly say I'm the least inter- interesting man in the world. <laughs> I, I, that, no. That's, no, it's pretty. Yeah. It's, I work from home. I hang out with you guys. That's about it. You like cats. I do love cats. You love I cats. play video games. That's interesting. I'm a typical 31 year old nerd. Nerd. I don't know. <laughs> what am I? Uh, well, my name's Kaz. Um, <gasps> nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a mom and a wife and a YouTuber. That's pretty much sums me up. Um, yeah. That's... What about the guy behind the camera? What well, said wife? No. Oh yes, he. Yeah. So Jonathan is gonna be joining us next time. He'll have a mic. It'll yeah. be even more fun. But he's kind of just listening and making sure everything sounds good. He'll have a mic next time and kind of be able to join in on the conversation, which I think will be interesting. You want to do his introduction for him? Yo, yeah. No, you can talk. Yeah. He, it'll yeah. sound a little echoey, but I'll look. He doesn't even want to no, talk if, now. His name is Jonathan Brock. Jonathan he is Brock. a husband, a father. And the most interesting man in the world. <laughs> he's a geek. Yeah, he's he's a he's a tech guy. Mm-hmm. We both like golf, so yeah, they're best friends. A lot of people yeah. mistake them for brothers because they look similar, and we act like it. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. All yeah. right, um, and every day, not every day, but every podcast. Let me say that every day we're gonna have a quote of the month, and it's so funny because I was trying to find one and have it not be cheesy. But, you know, when you have inspirational quotes, it's going to be cheesy. But the quote of the day is, life has two rules. Number one, never quit. Number two, always remember rule number one. And I don't know who it's by. It just says unknown. So I thought that was cool. And he's over here trying not to laugh. (laughs) I'm pretty sure I heard that in a movie one time. Really? It's probably like Remember the Titans or something. No, uh, yeah. It it popped in my head. I'm trying to remember what it was, but I, I don't know. Again, uh, thank you so much for being here for my first podcast. Um, this is kind of just an like introduction of who I am. Um, I'm a YouTuber, so this is new because this is all like one take. I'm used to just messing up and being able to just I am edit not it, edit it out. Edit it, 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 it. Um, so this is fun and exciting and new. I hope you guys enjoy. I will have um, different subjects for every month. Like I said, it comes out the first Sunday of every month. So I'm not sure what next month will be about, but we'll have different segments, but it'll all be about a certain subject. Yeah. So, all right, let's go ahead. I have a segment called subscriber story time. And I went and I asked my subscribers on YouTube to tell me their paranormal can I drink yes i'm asking yes you can drink coffee go for it and i'm asking the producer and he's looking at me like mm-hmm. <laughs> like he's a really stern teacher jeez um their paranormal experiences <laughs> um i i for some reason i have a fascination with paranormal stuff if you know me from my youtube it's an unhealthy fascination i know it's unhealthy <laughs> we've been friends for tw- almost what 12 years now and yeah. I have a fascination, but also a fear. Like, I don't want anything to do with it, but I can't stop watching videos on the internet about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like watching those like these videos of like really bad car accidents or something like, yes. oh, you can't look away. But... Yeah, look away. I like watching I those too. I don't know why I see car accidents. I'm, I think I'm just a really morbid person. But um, anyway, so I asked them to send me in their most paranormal experiences. Obviously, it's in the comments, so they can only tell me so much um but i'm gonna go ahead and shout them out i'll do two or three and then we can kind of you know talk about our own if we have any paranormal experiences which i do and you were telling me beforehand that you do yeah i do (laughs) so i'm actually excited to hear about yours all right the first one comes from one of my 
subscribers, Colton Simpson. Um, he says, one time my mom was in the kitchen and I was in the bathroom. And all of a sudden I heard this really loud crash in the kitchen. A glass bowl fell out of the cabinet, hit the counter, then fell to the floor and shattered. It scared my mom and I both. She said she didn't drop the bowl, didn't touch it. It just fell out of the cabinet by itself. So, I mean, that could be. It just. One of my stories is kind of similar to that. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean. In, in a way. You know, skeptics and stuff can, you know, debunk it. Like maybe it was kind of on the teetering on this, you know. But It could have been an earthquake. It, it but, could've, but could've you know, with, with my experience that I've had, that's not far off. I'll tell yeah. you that. All right. And the next one comes from Don Gormley. And they said, I have a story where my three-year-old, oh, I don't like that because I have a three-year-old daughter. <laughs> Um, it says, where my three-year-old daughter said a dark shadow man visited her late at night oh. and told her daddy will never save you from what I will do, then went on. Much shortened ver- version. So this is a more must. This is a very morbid <coughs> story. Sorry. I'm trying to hold my breath because I was freaking out. <laughs> and then went on to describe in detail how he would hang her upside down and cut her skin off and burn her. That's fa- a three-year-old. A three-year-old. So that you just I'm 31 and, I'm, and I don't want to that itself that. tells you how creepy that is because there's no way a three year old's going to say that kind of stuff. Just you're the last part, <laughs> very sanitized version. Her entire story was much more graphic. Well, let's, let's get back into it. He says the thing that terrified my wife and I was that she had no older friends and we never let her watch inappropriate shows, like I just said. Oh. A three year old to say something like that, something told her that. To this day, we have no idea where her horrific stories came from or how she could, at three, voice such a story if it didn't happen. She lived in fear of sleeping alone for a long time. I don't, As would I. I don't blame her. And told of, told us of visits from the large shadow man for months. One night, I sat in her room and told her we would face him together and kill him. And that's good. Good dad. I never saw anything overly strange in her room myself, but the room suddenly felt cold for a few minutes around 1 a.m., Sarah growled slightly and tightened up after that night. Everything was fine, but I truly felt like something was in the room that I didn't see. Yeah, I don't like that stuff, mm-hmm. man. No. Ooh. I'm 31 years old, and I now just started to sleep with my door open. I used to be, like, I don't know what, it's just like, when I was, especially when I was a kid, I had weird stuff happen. But. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was the same way. I We sleep with the door open now, yeah. but I wouldn't when I was by myself. It took me a long time. I don't know why. Yeah. I don't know why. It was just like, the door's not going to stop anything. It was just a comfort thing. Yeah, it was a comfort, you know? totally a comfort thing. All right, so the next one comes from Eric Fox. Um, he's actually really active on my YouTube. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've only encountered one paranormal experience myself, but my sister has many encounters. What I encountered was when I was in my room. My room used to be the old sitting room. Is that like a living room? Um, I think what it is is like, you know, my grandparents' old house where they had the the room with their chairs. Okay, yeah. I think it's something like that. Okay. It's the old sitting room. I had all my guitars and a banjo hung on the wall and had my desk underneath them. I was watching TV when I heard some kind of thing like hit, like a hit a wall, and I noticed my banjo was swinging by itself, hitting the wall. Mm. Oh, that's great. No one else was in the room. Windows were closed, so I couldn't figure out an explanation. When it came to my sister... She dealt with a time where she was in bed and her wardrobe door was already opened and she noticed that her bag in there looked like it was being pulled. And all of a sudden it threw itself out of the wardrobe. Oof. Oh, God. I, that, see, like, who, okay, who sleeps with their closet open? Mine. Wardrobe, so closet, not, no. Ask Jonathan. Well, um, the, way my, the way my room's set up, it kind of has to be. But I, I tell Jonathan, I'm like, even if it's like, this like two inches open i'm like close that and he's like you're so weird which is funny that my door being open used to bother me but my closet door didn't yeah that doesn't make any sense to me <laughs> but you know the funny thing is i think i've got more scared from my closet because i'm like what is that oh it's my shirt it's my shirt yeah, <laughs> i hate when things look like something in the yeah. dark yeah um he also says she also dealt with the bed shaking another time she had which freaked me out was she had a picture of our uncle on her desk after he passed away, and she had it facing 90-degree angle away from her, from her bed. Um, She left the room to come back with it facing the bed, and she was home alone, so no one could have moved it. 
Sounds maybe, like maybe it was her uncle saying, "I miss you too." Yeah, maybe. Um, it sounds like something might be following your sister. <laughs> yeah, well, was, <clears throat> I have things like it's not. I don't want to say never this necessarily paranormal, but like when I'm really tired, I I think it's just my body playing tricks on me. But I feel like I got stuff's moving sometimes. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's just like that that really delusional tired. Yeah, I mean, you gotta be really tired though. Oh no, it's like it's like usually like in the middle of the night, like I'll wake up. Or I'm like, like going to bed at like four o'clock. In you morning. think you see something and you're like, wait, and then it's just like. Well, it's not even just I see something. I feel like I'm like laying there and I feel like I'm moving. Oh, yeah. weird. Okay, yeah. maybe it's just your body vibrating or something. Yeah. You too. Yeah. You feel that too? Oh, when you're a kid. I get that I, sometimes still now. Yeah, because usually like <laughs> <it's> probably, <laughs> you put your head in the belly, you're out. It's probably a scientific. There's probably some kind of scientific yeah. explanation. It's probably the thing where like when you start falling, you feel like you fall. Oh, I get that a lot okay. too. You know, what I, you know what I had when level. I was little? Night terrors. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I did too. <laughs> so bad. Um, well, I am interested in hearing one of your paranormal experiences. Just one? I mean, uh, tell me one of the scariest ones. Oh, man. Uh, the scariest one is probably the one that was, uh, I'd say, the most. I couldn't explain it. Um, so this is when I was running, uh, working at the barbecue restaurant, running uh-huh. the uh, help managing it. And we were closed. It was probably like 11 o'clock at night. It was literally just me, a, uh, um, a friend in, or one of our friend, in, friend in girls, and then our cook, because everyone else was home. Cook was doing the dishes, which is uh, 15 feet from the office, well, maybe 20 feet from the office, office, and the girl was cleaning the front of the house. And so she went in and cleaned, cleaned the bathrooms, came back, but she didn't empty the trash in the bathrooms because she was going to get the trash from the front. Go back to the bathroom, empty the trash, all, okay. you know, yeah, kind of one bag yeah. thing. That makes sense. Um, and so she's doing all that, and I'm counting money, doing this, you know, manager stuff. And next thing I know, I hear a blood curdling scream. Oh God! And I was, and we were, we were downtown Tulsa, so you know, it could have been. I was like, oh gosh, what's going on now? I was like, a hobo showing his butt, you know, I, you know, no, we had <laughs> yeah, weird stuff no, like that happen. No, I get it. She's comes in, just white, and and she was um pretty tan, you know, and. I go, her name is Bailey. And I go, what, what, what's going on? What's going on? She was like, I can't go in there right now. I'm like, she goes, I don't, w- go look. So I went to the, it's the women's restroom. Both sinks were turned, cranked on. And all the trash that was in the trash bag was, trash can was thrown everywhere, right? Oh my gosh. So it gets better. So we're like, okay, that's weird. Let's just clean it up. Well, I'm like, I go, what did it sound like? The homeless lady come in? And yeah. she's like, no. She's like, no, I cleaned the bathroom. You know, you could still see where she missed some spots in the mirror. Uh, so then about, I don't know, 23 minutes later, she's leaving. I walk out to her car, and it's just me and the cook. The cook's finishing up the dishes, and I, the next thing I know, I just hear, like, the noise is like, da, 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 ba, 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 ba. Oh, and at the restaurant, we, we we gave all of our sodas in, like, these um plastic cups you could take with you. You know, they're, like, 16 ounces. Yeah. But anytime people didn't, like, keep them, like, uh, we just washed them and put them up on top of the shelf. And there was probably 60 of them. And they were pushed up back against the wall on one of the shelves that was probably six, eight feet high on the top shelf and every single cup was pushed off the thing all the way back yeah all the way back i mean not a single cup was left on the on the shelf what? and so dre so and, like I, and, and, and so i was like i was like and and my cook his name was dre i was like dre quit messing around right and, I, and there's four cameras front door um we had a little patio area backside where the tra- where the trash is in the parking area and dre's outside smoking a cigarette oh my gosh so then so then i i, I told i go tell dre i'm like dre like, do we have an earthquake? He's like, no, man. You know, why? And he comes inside, and I won't tell you what he said, but he's like, oh, no, I'm leaving. <laughs> but <laughs> well, no, I'd be, but I'd be so bad. And I found out about that that building that the restaurant used to be in, which is in downtown Tulsa, used to be a crematory. Fantastic. Well, that explains. Yeah, they didn't. It they all. failed to tell us that. I bet they did. Oh, that's I, scary. Yeah, because I was talking to the owners of some buildings around there, and he go, oh yeah, this used to be a crematory back in the '60s. I was like, okay. The one that I sent you the picture? Uh-huh. You, yeah. sent, you sent him a picture? I sent a picture. Yeah, yeah the security cameras. The same same location. If, in the security camera, you can see a person standing in the front door. Right? And I literally told my told the um, the hostess up front, I go, hey, let them know that we're closed. And she's like, who? I'm like, the guy's at the front door. She's like, there's no one there. I'm like, come here. She came, look, there's literally a person standing. And I just took a picture of it on, on, the, on the thing. I sent it to you. Yeah, same That's same location. Crazy. Oh, I got I got a couple more too. 
I felt like I I was I was pushed one time. Like I felt like someone like like pushed me because my boss we would mess around with each other a lot. And I was like, Brian, quit. You know, like whatever. And there's like Brian, quit. And I turned around, no one's there. Brian is outside on the patio smoking a cigarette. Uh uh-uh, uh, ain't nothing yeah. touching me. No, thank you. I've had my collar pulled. Yeah, this is all rib trip. Yeah, all, all rib trip. But the collar pulled was at my last location that I was at. But I, I found out, like I was telling some weird stuff that happened. Like I had a towel that was in my back pocket, it felt like it was getting tugged, and my collar was pulled. That a guy had actually passed away in one of the booths from a heart attack. Oh wow! Yeah, that's who was probably tugging on you. <laughs> he wanted some ribs. <laughs> some ribs. But yeah, and it was like, <laughs> He's okay. like hook it up. <laughs> And you know me, you know me, like yeah, you're at, you're skeptic. That kind oh, of stuff oh yeah, I, I gave you a hard time about all this stuff, and when all that stuff happened, I was just like, well, first the picture, I was like, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. I'm about to tell you. Obviously, you can have it's viewer discretion advised. Uh, you can either think I'm lying or not, but I vividly remember. I think I might have been like 12, 12, 13. It was right before I moved um, to Manteca. So I was like 12 or 13. My mom had some like work friends. They got tickets to see this comedy show. And so she's going to go out on the night with her friends. And she's like, well, they have two daughters. So you guys can like hang out, have a movie night, whatever. I had never met these people. Did one of them die? (laughs) No, nobody died. So I don't know these, these girls. Okay. Um, one was like 16. One was like 14. So I was the youngest. Um, now, as everyone knows, my name is spelled a little different. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the normal spelling is Cassandra C A S S. Oh, I think I know. Yes, this story. I think I told you this. Yeah. So my name is spelled K A Z A N D R A, right? So these girls, they don't know that. They just know my name's Cassandra, right? And so we're having a regular night. <laughs> we're having a regular night. Yes, <laughs> he's he's asking because I think I've told I told him this. Um, yeah. So. We're having a regular night. We're having fun. And they're like, hey, do you want to play with a Ouija board? And I'm like, I'm naive. I don't know what that really is. I just know that, you know, it's fun ghost stuff. I'm like, okay. You know, I was a little skeptic. But they're like, it's okay. They're like, it's the glow in the dark one. I and didn't I was, know that's a thing. I didn't know what a Ouija board for the longest time. <laughs> when I first heard it, I thought it was like a cleaning utensil, like a squeegee. Yeah, and so and so they were like, "We put it up to the you put it up to the water onto the water to the water." Sorry, squeegee. <laughs> <he> says, squeegee. <laughs> you put it up to the to the light, and it after a while mm-hmm. it'll glow in the dark. So they did that. We went up. We went upstairs to one of the girls' rooms. Oh, I just got chills. Yeah, and. uh they put it in the light and then they turn off all the lights and just, you see this Ouija board glowing. It's the craziest thing. And and at that time and still kind of today, I I was scared of the dark. So I'm I'm alone. I'm not alone, but I don't know these girls. There's this glowing, <laughs> creepy Ouija board. Well, before we started this, they said that they had contacted someone before. And I don't know if this is actually true, if if they were messing with me, but they said they had contacted this man. Um, and there was this this murder not far away from their house. I, I don't know details, but this guy was bald, very white. He had, like, black pants, black shirt. Oh. <laughs> it was like a turtleneck. And he apparently um, murdered people on his front lawn on Halloween. So uh, His name then, is Michael Myers. <laughs> I know, right? And then he took his own life. Um, they supposedly got in contact with this guy and apparently he's not, you know, he messes around with them and, and not like that, not messing around with them, but like, you know, move stuff and all that stuff. So we're playing, I'm real, I'm real hesitant on playing this, but (coughs) y'all right there? Y'all right there? Well, I was like, I felt a cough coming on (laughs) and I stopped it and I think I made it always like, hmm. (laughs) And just so that I started laughing, like <laughs> trying not to laugh, and then the cough came out. So sorry. Um, no, it's okay. And so we're playing. We're like, you know, welcome, blah blah blah, and you know, all our fingers are on it. And I kid you not, okay, it says, "Hi, K A Z A N D R A." Does it move by itself? <laughs> it moves by it. No, with your fingers, it's from your energy. I didn't move it. Okay, I could tell t- you. Were that. you touching it? 
but oh. it, it goes. You just go with it. You barely you put your it's so light to where it just and these girls they don't know how to spell my name. I know they don't know how to spell my name because I mean I don't know why my mom would be like this is how she spells her name. No, they just know my name's Cassandra. Or you know they could be bad spellers. <laughs> no, so it's straight up, and I I get teary eyed, and I'm like starting to shake. And I'm like, what the heck? And my, my, my Nana had just passed a couple years before that. And I was like, is this my Nana? And it says, no. And I was like, oh, God. Bye, I'll, Felicia. And I was like, is, are you evil? And it says, yes. And then the balloons up on the bunk bed start moving. I said, guys, enough. I'm not doing this anymore. D- d- say goodbye. You know, goodbye. And we say goodbye. We turn on the lights. I'm crying. I am sobbing. So about an hour goes by. And, uh. We're trying to just kind of distract ourselves from what just happened, especially me. They're so you watched like, a scary movie. No, we didn't watch a scary movie. <laughs> but we were going to make snacks and stuff. So I'm in. So it's hard to explain. But there's a, a living room. And then there's a hall. Like not a hallway, but like a doorway. Hey. Um, to like a galley kitchen. You know, so there's counters on this side, counters on this side. And there's this big window right at the end of it. And I'm, <laughs> I'm making, I'm making something popcorn or I'm getting some kind some, some kind of snack. And I look over out the window and I kid you not, it gives me chills because I can still imagine it. There is this pale white, almost deformed looking bald man thing with black pants, black shirt. And he does that run up really fast to the window and then disappear thing you see only in horror movies yeah that happened to me i screamed bloody murder the girls come in there what's going on and i'm like telling them they're like Did, they're like stop messing around it didn't really happen no one ever believes me but i can tell you to this day i would take a lie detector test that we can arrange that <laughs> that happened to me and it was one of the scariest things i mean i've had a lot of things happen to me but that was one of the scariest things I think I've ever seen and encountered that like for me tells me that that kind of stuff's real because like, how does it know how to spell my name? Like, you know what I mean? I posted a picture one time on Facebook of, I was going to, we were going to Oklahoma and we stayed in a tiny motel somewhere in Colorado and it's creepy hallway. And at the end of the window, you could see some, something standing in the window, but oh, we, were, we were on like the fourth floor. Oh shoot! Oh my yeah. god, gross. It might still be on uh, on Facebook. Gross. I'm not sure. All right, so. <clears throat> all right. Well, let's get let's 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 go past the paranormal experiences because then you. it's nighttime and I'm not gonna be able to sleep. I said to drive home. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do a quick round of. We're always gonna do some kind of game or trivia game um, in my podcast just a segment so this this time we're going to do a random trivia and i have a generator here on my laptop and so basically we're just going to do a few each i'm terrible at this so am i i'm i don't know random trivias it's just it just i'm only good at certain things (laughs) right (laughs) same i'm probably not even good at it (laughs) you know so i have a generator here um and there's six categories there's arts history general science geography and entertainment so you can go ahead and pick a, a subject i'm gonna randomly generate mm. and then i'll probably refresh it so you can't see the actual question probably history it. i guess history okay. yeah all right history joan of arc won oh, yeah. several victories for france in which european war oops i wouldn't know this either all those history uh, buffs. Like I don't, I don't know what the name of the war is. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was like the French Renaissance or anything like that. But Mm-mm. what does it start with? An H. I'll give you that. Starts with an H. <laughs> I wouldn't get this. I can tell you that. Is it a long word? It's three words. How about that? The Holy Wars. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hundred Years War. Oh, the Hundred Years War. Well, you yeah. saying it? <laughs> Dang it. Remember when you said it to the honey trees? Okay. So you go up here after I pick my thing and then mm. refresh okay. and then find it. I am going to do. What did I put in here? Uh, <coughs> I'm going to do general. Mm. General? Mm-hmm. So just go up there and refresh it and then 
Find it. Oh boy. Oh wait, Jim. Okay. Yeah. Use the mic so we can hear you. All right. Already. Yeah. Which Crayola color did cons consumers vote to save from retirement in two thousand three? Save from retirement. Yeah. Be like dolphin gray. <laughs> <laughs> dolphin gray. I feel like it's a purple. I don't know if that's don't be, actually. Don't be hating on purple. Huh? So be, don't be hating on purple. I love me some purple. No, I feel like it is a purple. So what is it going to be? Um, I don't know. Purple people eaters purple. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I hit the wrong one. Crap. Oh, no. So we'll never know. Hold on. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll never know. Oh, I, I hit general i didn't know i don't know where i was supposed to hit you're supposed to hit general and then it'll give you the answer no i hit i hit no so i hit look okay, i hit general right here and it popped no, oh yeah, no so you hit right here oh we'll never okay know. hold on no we, we will we will we'll never know we will, we will. Hold, on, hold on hold on hold on hold on do another one for me while i'm doing what crayola color did they save in 2003 from retirement we're googling because we can do that nowadays Burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. How would I? How would I ever? Okay. All right. Arts, geography, science, history, general, or entertainment. Uh, entertainment for three thousand. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Okay. Entertainment for. Oh, you might. You might know. You might know this. I'm not. Which rock star plays the role of vampire in the 1983 movie The Hunger? The Hunger. Like I've, never, I've never even heard of the hunger. Hold on, do me a favor. Click click, click on the answer. Don't show me. <laughs> do you know the rock star? I do know the rock star, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Is it a fam really famous for rock star? Mm -hmm. Dang it. I'll give you that. Do you have an answer? <laughs> do you have an answer? <laughs> Just say it. The only, okay, so, uh, do you know, to be it honest, that's, I know the first thing that popped in my head was David Bowie because he's the only that, rock star that I know that's been in movies. That's that's him. That's David. Good job. One point for Josh. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> that, was, that was a little. You gave me the D. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I can't the D. So, all right, we'll okay. do it. Let's do it like um, one. Uh, so refresh it. Yeah, know, right there. I'm gonna also do entertainment. Right, no, entertainment. brother, it's gonna be something I should know, but because I'm a, I have a, a bed bed bad test anxiety i'm not gonna get it john oliver began hosting what show for hbo in 2014 i should know this who's john oliver <laughs> <laughs> i should know this who's john oliver no, I, he's he's the british guy he's got glasses the british guy um he's in he's he does it's like a news anchor show kind of like the john not is it john daly not john daly Oh, is it the BBC one? The BBC, the, no, the that on, guy. It's on HBO. No, it's on HBO. He's he's, Can, he's the show, host. Let me, let me show you who. I'll the show host? you. Let me show you a picture of John Oliver since you gave me the D for David Bowie. Even though I kind of guessed that one. Um, I I'll think I know which one it is, but show me his picture. I'm pretty sure I know, but I don't know. I don't know the. Okay. Name I'm of gonna, the show. I'm gonna cover the show because it says says it on there. Oh, he looks so familiar. He looks so familiar. Um, the daily. I don't know. The daily. I'll, I'll tell you this. It starts with an L. An L. Late night show. Late night. It's not Jimmy Fallon, but okay. <laughs> I mean, do you? Yeah. Last week tonight. I would have never got that. I would have never got that. <laughs> the funny thing is, I know that one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right. Let's do one more each. Okay. okay. So go ahead and pick. Art, science, general, history, entertainment, or geography? Uh, geography. Geography. Okay. Cape May is located on which U.S. coast? Well, it's a 50-50 question. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna Cape May. say the East Coast. That is correct. Because I don't know any capes on the West Coast. So we got zero for me, <laughs> which wasn't surprising. And we got two. Do you guys Josh. know any capes on the West Coast? <laughs> no. The closest thing to a cape that I know of on the West Coast is probably Puget Sound, but it's not um, even a cape. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do general again. General again. Yeah. I feel like I know random general crap more than anything else. If it's Harry Potter, you'd be yeah. kicking me. 
Huh? Pick, if it's Harry Potter, you'd be both of me. Oh, yeah, we, we were going to do Harry Potter trivia, but then I felt like <laughs> Well, that... we can do it some other time. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. He's dying. Okay. It's really smoky here. It is really smoky. been bothering Every, me. Everything is on fire around us. In Scotland. Oh, God. What was the Taos? The who? Taos. Taos? T-A-W-S-E. T-A-W-S-E. S-E? <laughs> Taos? Tossy? What is? You'll never know this. You'll never know this. What is or who was? What was? What was? The toilet. No. <laughs> Can you give me what it starts with? I told you. Uh, it's it's like, um. I mean, corporal punishment. I got a hint. Corporal punishment. Like cor- you know, is it corporate punishment? Corporate punishment. Corporate. You know, like um, I got like a. Like a Slap on the hand. Or yeah. Like a... Uh, a whipping. Let <laughs> <laughs> me give it to you. What it is. Yeah. That's I mean, that, that's the process. It's te- the teacher's strap or belt. Oh. You gonna get a whooping. Perfect. So apparently we're not very. <laughs> I mean, that's really general. You're definitely a lot smarter than me. Apparently. No, that's nothing to do with smartness. <laughs> it's just. It's just. It's all guessing. Okay. All right, Heck, so, one, of, one of my questions was 50-50. This is true. I mean, this is true. All right. So we're going to go on to our next segment. Um, it's just basically crazy news stories that I found, on, found online. I don't know how right. exactly how accurate they are. But have you found, um, have you heard about the woman and her alien lover? No, but I have been watching a lot of X-Files. So <laughs> Perfect. Might, might, might ring a bell. <laughs> okay. So the uh, title is London YouTuber claims to have been abducted by aliens. And fallen in love with one of them. Oh, she found love. Um, it was written by Kalina Fraga and checked by Eric Hawkins. I don't, you know, it was published a couple days ago. It's Eric Hawkins. Hawkins. Um, <laughs> so sick of men on earth. London actress Abby Bella says that she hopes to normalize interspecies dating. <laughs> to find her soulmate, London actress Abby Bella looked to the skies. She claims that she fell for an alien after it swept her into its UFO right off her feet. Can I just say something real yes. quick? I am so single. <laughs> and this lady is falling in love oh, with aliens. aliens. <laughs> or what she thinks is aliens. She gets to spend on bath salts watching her reflection. Yes, ladies in my no. podcast or video. <laughs> in your podcast. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Anyone in there? No, <laughs> it says, bored by the pandemic and unimpressed by the offerings on Earth, Bella explained <laughs> that she joked online about wanting an alien to abduct her. Earth's not that bad. <laughs> Before long, she began to have dreams of a white light. And then on May 31st, Bella says she heard a voice in her dream and commanded her to wait in the usual spot. <laughs> A.K.A. the toilet. That's a very hot spot for... <laughs> UFO abductions I've learned from X Files. Bella had never heard the voice before, and yet she says she knew what it meant. The next evening, oh, this, is, this is her saying. The next evening, I sat next to my open window. Bella said she waited, and she began to fall asleep around twelve fifteen a.m. A flying saucer swept into view. Before Bella knew it, she wasn't in her bedroom any longer. There was a bright green beam which transported me to the UFO. This is Independence Day. <laughs> Come on. Most might be alarmed by such a turn of events, but not Bella. <laughs> I'm one of those people who all my life had weird encounters, she explained on her YouTube channel. Okay, there's weird encounters, and so, then there's aliens. So. <laughs> I Before we continue, yeah. I'd be really interested to see if you just like search the web, if you can, if she she tells you what what day it was, if anyone had said, did you anybody see that at twelve thirty? Oh, you know, we should do some. I'm research. just yeah, that's what I'm saying is, and that'd know. be crazy if they actually did. <laughs> I mean, we could talk to Dan Aykroyd. And it says, nonetheless, never, nevertheless, Bella soon found herself where very few humans claim to have ever gone, <laughs> in the belly of a flying saucer, and Bella's telling. She encountered five aliens in UFO. They were tall and slender, but Bella couldn't make out their true forms. I couldn't see them clearly, and they telepathically said, 
<coughs> I'm not ready to see them in their true form, Bella claimed. But from what I could see, they had a slight green hue and big black eyes with human features, such as eyebrows. <laughs> in a sketch Bella drew for Cater's News, the aliens have round faces and a snake-like gaze. Bella describes them as having big eyes with irises. So it's not even aliens. It's just the lizard people everyone talks about. <laughs> right? <laughs> but Bella wasn't frightened. On the contrary, she was love-struck. There was one who connected with me. She gushed, describing the feeling as being in love times a hundred. I didn't get his name, but I felt exactly the same. However, the star-crossed lovers faced a few hurdles. <laughs> For, for one, the alien told her that dating a human was taboo, <laughs> mm -hmm. although he was willing to break the rules. For another, Bella wasn't sure that she wanted to leave planet Earth and never look back. I wonder if she was probed. <laughs> Probably. He said, I had, to, I had to consent to go with them. See, aliens even are all about consent. <laughs> hey, uh, actually, John, can you look up the uh, Robin Williams... Alien show. Oh my god. More more can Mindy more can Mindy, that's what it was. It's just it's just more can Mindy. Fantastic. But I didn't <laughs> want to say yes in case they took in case they took me forever. So she doesn't want them to take her forever. So sadly, Bella left the UFO after just twenty minutes, and back on Earth she bemoaned the gaping differences between aliens and Earthmen. Aliens offer an extra quality of care, she said. Men on Earth just tell lies and have double standards. Excuse me. I know all I my all my that. all my male I watchers and, and, and listeners are going to be so offended. Some Bella noted might be squeamish about earthling alien relationships, but they just haven't considered interspecies dating. Bella hopes to be a pioneer in this field and normalize interplanetary in <laughs> interplanetary love. Can That's I can I just say word. why don't we like perfect life on Earth <laughs> with with, with, we... eat with Human to human, yes. Before we do interplanetary exactly. love, exactly. <laughs> Just saying. All right, it says although many have raised an eyebrow at Bella's story, she's hardly alone in claiming an alien encounter. During the pandemic, sightings of UFOs have surged. The National UFO Center reported there's an actual National UFO Center. Yeah, it's in some guy's ba mom's basement. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, I, I, I'm just poking fun at it because, like. It's the like. It's hard to. It's hard to believe. It it, it it's, it's, it's hard, hard to, to believe, believe at the same time, but at the same time, it's like. It's like. I are, don't want to believe it because then it's like, okay, we're not alone. Well, that's not that's we're not alone. But if, if there's actually something like that out in this world, we're low on the totem pole. <laughs> Probably, uh, the National UFO Center reported that sightings jumped up by one thousand in twenty twenty to seventy two hundred recorded encounters with extraterrestrials for a long time said peter danvenport the director of the ufo reporting center when he the, gets paid the government thought that people like me are just crazy and we're not <laughs> indeed the pentagram is ex is the pentagram ex pen pentagram pentagram <laughs> okay we're not talking about that <laughs> the pentagon sorry is expected to imminently release its highly anticipated ufo report yeah. if, if you google that you can see ufos apparently well yeah it's it's it's, it's a thing that is yeah sorry i mean yeah. right, there's a picture of it and all ufo is is an unidentified flying object you know they don't you know they're not saying it's aliens it's just something they can't put their finger on what it is <laughs> which i completely would say that's what that is it says as for abby bella and her alien love bella hasn't given up on her long distance relationship <laughs> quite yet Twenty two thousand light years away <laughs> although she understands if her lover is concerned about capture by the cia <laughs> she hopes that her alien suitor will brave the risk and visit one day from the Andromeda? Mita? A Andromeda. Hey, thank you. Galaxy. I was like, what is that Andromeda? word? Andromeda? I don't know what that <laughs> word is. <laughs> and apparently, until this day comes, Bella keeps an overnight bag by the window. So she's waiting for the next time she sees Well, you know what, though? As long as she's happy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if she's but happy. I will have to say, though, with watching the X-Files and stuff like that, <laughs> you know, Mulder would really like to go interview her. Right. All right, so we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead into another segment. We're just gonna talk about our week. Had anything happened? Anything interesting happened this week to you? Um, how was your week? Nothing, nothing interesting. Well, I work from home, other than like one day we go into the office. Um, 
I kind of I started to draw back in January, obviously, as you know. But the we're, the the most exciting thing is probably I got invited to a a, uh, a work dinner next week. Ooh, fun! And, and these are all people you don't really know, right? No, like I know people on my team that I met when I was training, but like you know, like my boss, because with the whole pandemic, I've only like met talked to him a handful of times. Mm-hmm. But my boss is there, his boss's boss, and his boss's boss's boss is gonna be there. Uh, so some some So that and I'm a fat guy and when I'm going out to dinner, I don't want to look like a fatty when especially when the Stop company's paying. It. <laughs> it's like I have one of those and one of those and one of those. And one of the I nothing really interesting yeah. happened. My week I was just I mean I was just recently diagnosed with ADHD. I could have <laughs> done that to you ten years ago. Could have told could have told you that. Um I am going yard selling tomorrow. Fun. Hey, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but buy some stuff. But anyways, Probably yeah, not. I was recently diagnosed with ADHD, and uh, we're trying to figure out medication. <laughs> so been there, done about, that. That's about as interesting as it gets for my week. I mean, I have a three year old. Every day is kind of interesting. Yeah. So no, with me, it's just usually I work, and then I, you know, this week wasn't a very good week for the gym. I got some stuff going on in the O arb. But, oh yeah, Jonathan was telling me you had tennis elbow. Yeah, it, like I went to the doctor and they said it was basically, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah just hurts. Yeah. Okay, so guys, um, I also want to include. I know that um, Air Biscuits is Rent Link. Yeah. They do this. They have a recommendation. Uh, my recommendation of the month. I just want to kind of like. I like the idea. You brought it to me, and I like the idea of recommending like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Recommending, like, especially, like, either, like, local or, like, not so known, you know, businesses or maybe even music or stuff like that. Um, I have a recommendation. It really stinks. Not the recommendation. But I had a neon sign that I got done. And it was supposed to be up here. But we're trying to figure that out. So next podcast. I keep hitting you. Sorry. Next podcast, I will have it up. It says Kaz's Corner. It's so cool. And the people I worked with were amazing. They were, their communication was great. Customer service was great. I mean. Very good. Yeah, it was, I mean, they they gave me like discounts. They really helped me out because I told them that, you know, I'm a YouTuber and I'm, I'm creating this podcast and I really want to work with you. So they are on Etsy. I love that website, by the way and they are that they aren't they are oh. on etsy um and they're called neon craftsmen neon craftsmen all one word neon craftsmen um they were I saw on your table out there yeah it's amazing it's, it's pretty, i love it's it amazing. i love it i love it um they were fantastic to work with they've been support I mean, your small businesses yes out there. they were they were great so i do recommend I, they were affordable for a really nice neon sign it was it was it was fantastic so next podcast you guys will be able to see that sign behind mm-hmm. us or behind me or whoever's with me um and that's my recommendation neon craftman I'll, I'll also in my video on my youtube video i'll have that linked below as well um but other than that any last words my friend no I'm I'm hoping I can come back and talk about like for sure, for sure. Music, games, movies, yeah. something. Like I said, every I month, can talk about a lot of stuff. Every month I will have like an actual subject we'll be talking about. So everything that all the segments and everything will include. Well, that and, and you know the flow with for you your flows gonna yeah just get better and better. Yeah, I mean I it, feel like it this might have better. been a little rough around the edges. It's <laughs> my it's my first time doing a podcast. It's the first time having a mic in my face. Yeah, we're trying to figure everything out. I, I feel like every time I have to like cough or burp. At least you're a singer, so you're used to having a mic around. I mean, I'm like, what is this thing? Well, it's been a while since I've had a mic in my face, but yeah, I, I this was really exciting. This was new. This was different. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for the coffee. You're welcome. Shout out. I Shout recommend out. Brock Cafe. Bro- <laughs> Brock Cafe. <laughs> it's, um, it's it's there. Yeah, we make we make some good we make some good coffee. Yeah. I think we should probably just have a podcast all about coffee. That'd be fantastic. John, John and John's Jonathan gonna, agrees. John, I'll sit in his spot and you guys can talk because I don't know all the science. I just drink it. Jonathan could talk about coffee all day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for joining me today in my new podcast, Kaz's Corner. Um, again, thank you, Josh, for being in it. For show. Sure. And as always, for sure. For sure. <laughs> and as always, I love you guys very much. Stay we love awesome. you too. 
And you love you, Jonathan. Yeah, we do love you too. <laughs> Stay awesome. Stay beautiful. Okay, bye. <laughs>